Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I am your host, Judge Graham. So today's topic, optimize your day to generate more money. So before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to my main man, Bill Woodich. I've got this amazing coffee cup that he gave me. It's very relevant for today's topic. You can't do good business sitting on your ass. That's relevant to today's uh, conversation. Pretty cool, right? You like that, uh, Philip? Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. All right. So let me get a little drink of this coffee. Put this down and get going. So optimize your day to generate more revenue. I talk all the time about the money sheet. But what I realized is, you know, the money sheet is the six to eight top priorities you need to do that day in order to generate more revenue. But what I haven't really dove deep into is the actions and the actual activities you should be doing within that money sheet. So we're going to dive into that. Um, also, I'll put the money sheet for free um, in the uh, video in the comment section. So how you break your day up, right? So if you're looking at a total of you have 100% of time during your day, I want you to spend 75% of your day in the money sheet. And what that means is I want you doing niche marketing. So niche marketing is finding qualified buyers. And how you find those qualified buyers, let me grab some of my notes here, is you know, this is speaking to the relevant audience that has a need for your product or service. This is cold calling, this is emailing, this is webinars, this is lead generation, et cetera. But again, going inch wide, oh, oh wrong, inch wide, mile deep here, and do it niche, right? So all of that outreach and prospecting has to be niche on what you're trying to uh, sell that product or service, okay? So this is finding the qualified prospects or buyers. Two, you've got to be presenting, right? If you're not spending time in your day after you found that qualified uh, buyer presenting an offer, you're never going to sell anything, right? So what is it you're putting together? Uh, it's a proposal. It's a presentation. There is some sort of action that you're asking for a close which gets you to step three is closing the deal this is exchanging and getting their money for your product or service okay so these may sound simple but if you really actually spend 75 percent of your day focused on finding qualified prospects through niche marketing which i discussed then after you find them setting up time consistently right? It a volume to be presenting an offer. You're never going to get any money if you don't ever present an offer. And then three, doing the things necessary to actually close the deal. Okay. So that's how you spend the 75% of your day. Now the remaining 25% of your day needs to be doing on creating. Okay. And what I mean by creating, let me grab my notes here. This is, what are your offers? What's the content that you're putting out? What are the proposals you need to create? What are the niche marketing plans? What are the white papers? What are the things that you're building to then send out to this market to create interest in the actual proposals that you have to present? That's in the creating stage. That's where you spend 25% of your time. Now, if you're a really small company, you also should be doing delivery, right? So delivery would be mean whatever you sold, you're actually having to do and deliver. But hopefully the more 75% uh, activities you're doing, you're going to have a staff that's going to allow the delivery to happen and you can focus on that creating. Okay. The second piece is administrative, right? Unfortunately, we have to do things like that, right? This is interviewing people, um, uh, taking certain calls you need to take. This is meeting with your accountant. These are activities that are administrative that are just part of you know, the day-to-day -day running a business. So that would fall into this bucket. But again, prioritize that. Don't just take a meeting to take a meeting. Make sure it's gonna be productive and it's moving the ball forward. And then three is plan for the next day, right? So many people don't realize that you cannot do this 75% well or effective if you don't map out and prioritize what are those six to eight activities that you're going to do to go find prospects, to then present them the offer, and then to get it closed, okay? So the money sheet, it's free. 
Check it out. It's amazing. It'll change your life if you actually follow it every day. And again, to recap, optimize your day to generate more revenue. 100% of your day, you break it into 75%. These are your revenue generating activities where you heavy up on, you stay committed, you focus on niche, you present, you close. The remaining, you need to be creating the content and the assets in order for you to market and present proposals, do administrative where you need to, and then plan. Take the time to plan for the next day. Hey, I hope you enjoy this uh, Whiteboard Wednesday, and we'll see you next time. Give me